today I went off pretty late. I usually try to sleep in as, as much as possible. I've been dealing with some time changes and so far I'm I'm getting tired, you know, I'm kind of in the rhythm of going to bed pretty early and waking up early. I had breakfast with a buddy and then came out here just over an hour before my tea time and then just kind of started my, my process. Good morning, everyone. It's, it's a sensational morning. No clouds, nothing at all. Scoring should be pretty awesome. Tough first hole, and you kind of know that it's the course is gettable, and you want to play well. But at the same time, you have to stay patient out there. Luckily, I played with some some good guys, and we were able to keep it pretty loose and, and have a good time out there. On the tee from Norway, Victor Hovland. You just got to clean up, clean and tidy up a couple of things and work on the good stuff from last week. Great drive. Good way to start the day. For an opening birdie, Victor Hovland at the first. Slopes quite a bit back to front more than you think this one. It's tough to get it all the way up at the hole. You know, the line. The only real birdie holes on the front nine are maybe two and three, uh, and I parred those. Managed to make a nice birdie on five. I felt like I, I was really in control of kind of how I was playing, just playing very consistent ball. Gets in the red for Hovland. Second time he's played here in Dubai. Poor swing on, on seven uh, was, was pretty frustrating. Shot to the hole. It's given him a little bit of green to work with. Right to left for a par for Hovland. He hung it out there expecting it to turn and it didn't. He'll be a bit disappointed with that. Short club in his hand going into the green. Mm -hmm. uh, but I knew there's, a, there's plenty of birdie holes coming up on, on the back nine, so if I just kind of stick to what I do well, then, um, you know, um, I could take advantage. And this is the one everyone likes to get a picture of. This is the most famous tee shot, the eighth at Emirates Golf Club. Sweeping dog leg into the breeze from left to right. You know, I've played a, a lot of different places in the world and there always seems to be a couple of uh, proud Norwegians out there. So it's, uh, it's nice to have some home support. Uh, Oof. Oh, yeah. Right in the middle of the fairway, just where you want to be. And uh, you need to hit this into orbit to hold this green. That was a five iron. It was uh, 200 meters to the front of the green. I knew that if I hit a really good five iron, it would barely cover the front edge and, and release the hole, which is what it, what it did. So that was uh, definitely the shot of the day today. Hovland, he's a young man, but he has the golfing mind of a 40-year-old. Always a smile on his face. There certainly is after that one. What a brilliant eagle, deserved it as well. Second shot was absolutely stunning. Smart play off the tee. Brilliant eagle, Victor. Great effort from here would be six feet past. Luckily, it, it hit the pin and, and stopped pretty close, or else I would have had a, probably a 15 footer for, for birdie. Just a soft draw required. It's right up his street. 18879, all day long for him. What a shot. got this left edge 
but maybe it's inside. Whatever there was, he did read, and Victor Hovland advances to four under par. Thursday, Friday, and even Saturday, Solovod just putting yourself in position to to try to win the golf tournament because um, it's it's hard to win the golf tournament if you don't make it uh, past Friday. A rock solid day, and as Ewan was saying moments ago, an opportunity to go out there, go low tomorrow, and try to set a target. It's all about just playing solid golf, and sometimes you make the putts, um, and sometimes you don't. But at least if you play solid, you you always you know hopefully stay there until the end. Watch another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.